Hi. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about how to get the most out of a relationship with somebody else when that person may know something that you don't and some tips and tricks on the things that you should and should not say if you actually want to learn so a common question on this channel is where did you learn these things from where did you learn the basics from I'd like to learn how to do some of the things you know how to do what are the things that I should do what should I look for what should I buy and I want to point out one very very clear-cut point that was made fairly obvious to me while I was posting on another forum so as you people know I will occasionally help on YouTube. Most of my real help is provided on the Advanced Reworks forum because I have some degree of control over what goes on over there and some level of influence so I can keep it, the culture of the place the way I want it to be and I post on a private repair forum that I actually paid money to become a part of. The reason that I usually limit my posts to these places is because it avoids the hassle and the irritation of dealing with people who don't understand the culture of learning within the tech field and I want to post a good example of this. So recently I decided to post to a website on somebody's recommendation. I would frequently complain about a website, the content and the culture, and they said, well, gee, you don't actually do anything to try to make it better. And this is a website that is made better by its users. So if you think there's information missing, if you think you have something to offer, then why don't you offer it instead of complaining? And I thought to myself, gee... Maybe I should offer something instead of complaining. So I decided to go through this website and go through many, many threads that I see. And I decided, let me go through ones where I know that I can offer advice that somebody else may not be able to offer. And I offer some answers where I know damn well that if they follow my advice and they replace what I say they have to replace, if they answer my questions, that the answers to the, my questions are going to be able to allow me to tell them exactly what to replace so that they can have a working machine instead of a $1,000 doorstop. So I decided to go through maybe 10 or 15 or 20 threads and in a decent amount of these I'm actually answering and telling people replace this here's what you need to do give me this model number of whatever this is inside your computer and I'll tell you what to do next so in one post somebody's posting that they're having an issue with a the battery they're having an issue with the battery not charging or they're not running off the battery or something like that I don't remember exactly what it is and I tell them check these resistors in this area of the circuit and give me the 820 number of your board so we can go forward you have a problem with your current sensing circuit and that is why it's not working now I cannot tell you the exact resistors to replace nor the vias that may have been broken because I don't even know which board you have I know from experience that your problem is with these current sense resistors and the via from this chip to this chip I know that that's the problem I know theoretically that that's the problem and I can even allow, tell you exactly what it is but I cannot tell you where on your machine it is because I'm missing a model number so I post this free advice on how to fix your board for free and it's received with the following comment how about posting an image of the area and pointing out the components in a schematic throwing out part numbers without the supporting documentation is just noise and there's something to this you see I can't post a picture of the area nor a schematic because I don't know what the board model number is and these are in different places on the different boards I know your problem is with the, pr the connection from this chip to this transistor and I know that you also have a problem with your current sensing circuitry because I fixed this problem at least 900 times in the year 2014 alone a minimum 900 times now when I look at this this just seems dumb to me and the reason is I know what's wrong with it but how can I tell you what resistors to replace? How can I show you a picture of it when my question has not been answered yet, which is, what is the model number of your board so that I can provide this information? Now, somebody says, you know, there, is, there are ways to respond to this, that you could have said this, that, or the other, and frankly, I don't see any, of, any defense to this type of thing. There are two things that you can do when you don't know something. You can be condescending and say, well, how am I supposed to know this? None of this makes sense. You're not showing it right. Or you can ask a follow-up question. So if, you, if I say, show me the model number of your board, your issue is with the current sense resistors, you can say, well, what is a current sensing circuit? And then I can tell you, or you can say, well, where do I find the model number of my board? And then I can help you walk you through it. Then you can tell me what the model number of your board is. Then I can tell you where the current sense resistors are. Then you can replace them. If you don't know how, you can even ask me what a resistor is. The thing is, it's a willingness to learn. The willingness to learn is what's going to want, make people want to teach you something. If you have a willingness to learn, a willingness to figure out things that you don't know, 
people are going to help you. I'm telling you, people will go out of their way to teach you all of their knowledge because it's actually fun. It's cool for me to tell you how to do something and to watch you perform it successfully. What is not cool is when you come up with some bullshit ass crap or you actually go as far as to flame and say this is noise. Your free help, which is completely correct, is noise just because I don't understand one small part of it. If you don't understand that small part of it, ask a question. Now, if I reply to your question and I say, ha, 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 you moron, how do you not know that? By all means, I'm a fucking prick and I deserve whatever I get. But if you have not even asked a follow-up question, then this really is your fault. It's your fault that you don't know the answer. It's your fault that you have not learned something from the situation. This is a life lesson. When I was 17 years old, I was working on Neve 2254s, I was working on console modules, I was working on mic preamps, I was working on reconing vintage speaker systems from 50 years ago. I took what I learned and I took that to other facilities and for years I made some damn good money doing what I did. And let me tell you something, Something. At Avatar Studios, Ricky Began didn't stay half an hour after his shift ended to explain to me that why a diode does this in this portion of the circuit because I told him that his advice was noise. If I looked at Ricky Began when he was explaining something to me and I said, that's noise. You haven't even told me why this connects to that. He would have told me to go fuck myself, and he would have left at the end of his day, and I wouldn't have learned something. Do you know how I learned how to fix recording consoles at 18 years old? Do you know how I made a living as a freelance technician when I was 19, 20 years old, working on these systems for all sorts of studios? Do you know how I learned to modify PlayStations when I was 9 years old and start a business that made $600 a week doing it? When people offered information, and I didn't understand the information, there was a Fork in the road. I could be a condescending hipster douchebag, or I could ask a follow up question and show that I had a willingness to learn and absorb information. So when I show that I have a willingness to go out there on my own and find something and then come back to them, when I show, you asked me what, uh, you said current sense resistors. So when I go, okay, so this is what current sensing does, but at what point in the circuit do I find that? I may want to help you again. I may say, well, this is what it does. This is why this does what it does. This is why this is not working. Give me the number, and I will show you where to find it. Or you can say, well, that's just a bunch of noise, and I'm just going to want to tell you to go fuck yourself. Because, again, Ricky Began, you have to think about this. He made a set salary doing what he did. He made $600 a day when he went out to other recording studios. He had a minimum of 8 or 10 hours, and he worked at $60 or $75 an hour. When he worked at that studio in Avatar, he had a set rate that he was paid, and he left at the end of the day whether or not he taught me anything. Teaching young people how to do their job had nothing to do with what he did, but he spent time, and he probably doesn't even remember who I am, he spent time helping me, teaching me, showing me how all these things work for free. And now I have to realize... He's, there's no benefit. Here again, I have to have some common sense. There's no benefit to Ricky when he's actually showing me how all this stuff works. There's no benefit to Gretchen Mathwich when she's showing me how all these systems work. There's no benefit to Phil Lipscomb when it's 1 or 2 in the morning and he's supposed to leave at 12 and we're finishing up our work. When I ask a follow-up question, there is no benefit from him to teach me anything. The only benefit that he gets is the feeling of knowing that he has helped me, the feeling of knowing that he has transferred his knowledge to me, reinforcing that he himself has knowledge. It's not like th there is no right. I have no right to take information from him. I have no right to say, well, I don't understand exactly how this works because you didn't hand it to me on a silver platter. You go home without pay today. That's not how this works. The knowledge is transferred to people who show a willingness to learn it and a willingness to not get fed up and frustrated. Again, if you're dealing with somebody, if you're dealing with some arrogant, cocky douchebag who gets off on fucking with people that know less than them, by all means, be an asshole back. By all means, flame them. By all means, troll them. But when people are actually helping you in a nice fashion, when they're explaining how everything works, if you don't understand something, don't go, well, how am I supposed to know that? What are you talking about? Show some willingness to learn. And even if you don't show the willingness to learn, and I suggest you do, you should look up what that means. You should Google and then come back with it. Even if you show no willingness to learn, ask a follow-up question. So when somebody says, replace X, say, what's X? Don't say, how the fuck am I supposed to know what X is? Say, what is X? Well, X is the thing X to Y. 
Ask where is Y. Don't ask what the fuck is Y and why should I know it. If you don't tell me what Y is, this is just bull crap. Again, think about who is going to want to teach you. Think about why they are going to want to help you. They're going to want to help you if you have the right attitude. If you come into it with the wrong attitude, nobody is going to want to show you how to do jack shit. Nobody is going to want to help you. Nobody is going to teach you anything. And you are going to be forced to learn everything through doing it yourself. And let me tell you something. Learning in a vacuum is hard. Learning by yourself is hard. Learning without collaboration or partnership or mentorship is miserable crap, and I know because I've been there. A lot of people helped me with the PlayStation modding. I had a lot of help and a lot of mentors in the world of fixing broadcast audio gear and recording studio gear and high-end audio gear. I had no help whatsoever for years upon years of my life trying to figure out how to repair motherboards at the component level. Nobody was sitting here showing me what to do. Nobody was sitting here giving me tips. And it wasn't until very recently that I even found communities of people that existed that do just this. We can share information and talk about suppliers that have screwed us and talk about chipsets that work and this, that, and the other. This, I, I really had no access to this. I had to learn a lot of it on my own. So I assure you, if somebody were there that I could ask questions to, they would answer my questions, that would actually answer my follow-up questions, I would be there kindly, yes, sir, and thank you, sir, and asking follow-up questions and taking notes all day long. And you know what? Even though I say I understand if you flame arrogant douchebags, if they are an arrogant douchebag, I'd even listen to them. I'd even put up with it and just go, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, you kid, you don't even know what's this. I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh, all right. I'm just going to write down everything, put it in my brain, file it away, and once I know more than you, goodbye. Tell me that you don't know what a current sensing resistor is. I will help you for free. Tell me that you don't know what a resistor is. I'll help you for free. Tell me that you don't know what a multimeter is or how to use it or how to even plug it in, and I may help you for free. But say that my advice is noise when the, my advice includes a question that I need to actually answer and guide you to the answer to your problem, and you can very much so go fuck yourself. That is a life lesson. People do not help you for free if you are a jackass. People are not going to help you for free with your problems in the tech field if you don't show a willingness to learn. Because I don't get anything un out of the, I don't get anything out of helping you other than the personal satisfaction of having seen you learn. Truly. If I'm not getting paid extra, if I'm Ricky Began and I get my set rate to be at the studio as long as I fix things, whether or not the kids who are around learn, if I'm Phil Lipscomb and I get my hourly salary, whether or not this kid who works with me actually learns learn something with me. I don't get anything out of teaching you. The only thing that I get out of teaching you is the satisfaction of knowing that you have learned something. So if you are willing to learn, that means that I have a chance of becoming satisfied, that I have a chance of teaching you something. But if you act like an arrogant, ignorant douchebag and don't listen to anything I have to say and, and start condescending instead of asking follow-up questions, then I know that you are not interested in learning. You're not interested in figuring things out. And even if you are interested in learning, that I am going to have to spoon feed it to you. That it's not going to be like, I give you some of the information, I give you everything you need, and you run off and do things with it. That unless I sit there and hold your hand, go step by step, and explain everything in a perfect manner, that you're not probably going to learn something. And that means that what I'm doing is a waste of my time. So ultimately, if you want to learn something in the tech field, find mentors who are willing to help you and do everything you can to encourage them to spend time on you so that you can actually learn something. Don't make it feel like it's a waste of their time. Don't make it feel like when somebody takes time out of their day for free to help you, to spoon feed you information that you can use to make money, that you can use to fix things, that you can use to improve your business. Don't make it seem like it's a waste of their time. Because if you make it seem like it's a waste of their time, I assure you that help will go away and you will be stuck figuring it out right by yourself, sitting in a chair until 4 in the morning, the same way that I have for the past 6 years of my life.